Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. And today I'll be covering a very dangerous and extremely common form of cyber attack known as phishing scams. These phishing scams can simply be triggered by you clicking on a link you find in your inbox, which would give these hackers a hold on all your personal information and in some cases your entire system. But despite their simple nature, lots of people and businesses fall victim to these scams and become targets for financial fraud, identity theft, and so on. So in today's video, I'll be explaining what phishing scams are, where they come from, the different types of phishing methods, and what you can do to protect yourself from these scams. I'll also be showing you how you can use data removal companies to make this process even easier and more streamlined. Without further ado, let's get started. Also, if at any point in the video you'd like to check out any data removal services that I mentioned in this video, you'll find all the useful links, including discounts, in the description down below to help save you a bit of money. Now, what is a phishing scam? Well, a phishing attack is when criminals try to trick you into giving away your personal information, like your passwords or bank account details. They do this by pretending to be from a trusted organization, such as a bank or a famous online store, and contacting you through email, text messages, or even phone calls. Usually they'll ask you to click on a fake link and enter your information there. And these links often mirror actual sites, so you won't give it a second thought. These attacks are often accompanied by a sense of urgency, claiming that your account has been compromised or offering you a special limited time deal. So it's important to be really, really cautious and not provide any personal information unless you're absolutely sure it's a legitimate request. Now, as I mentioned earlier, these phishing attempts are often executed through emails where the scammers send out phishing emails to addresses that they usually get from data brokers or people searching sites. But there are other forms of phishing that not many people know about. For example, you also have spear phishing, which is almost identical to these email scams. However, they're not sent in mass volume, but rather tailor made for you using details the scammers collect about you through data brokers. And another form of phishing is called whaling, where the targets are CEOs, celebrities, politicians, and companies. You also have smishing, which is a scam through text messages and vishing, which is carried out through bot callers. So, how can you tell if you've received a phishing email? Well, most of the time, the sense of urgency could be a dead giveaway, whether it's positive or negative. For example, if you receive a promotional email with a deal that seems too good to be true, it's most likely a phishing scam. Similarly, if you receive an email that gives you a notice for something that's too unreal, like your email is getting deleted or your account is gonna get blocked if you don't change your credentials, it can also be a phishing scam. Also, if an email has really bad grammar or horrible spelling, don't think twice about dumping it into your spam folder and reporting it. And if you've received a link from emails that are trying to imitate popular websites and services, their domain name is usually off by one letter, which most people usually fall for. For example, you receive an email to change your Facebook credentials and instead of facebook.com, they'll link something like facebook.com, which would redirect you to a page with an identical layout and prompt you to enter your information. Now, there are several countermeasures you can take to protect yourself from phishing attempts. For starters, don't give out your main email address to businesses, random online sites, or people you don't know. They'll usually end up in the hands of data brokers who will spread them around to any buyers they can find who are usually scammers. Instead, make an alternate email to give out to stores, memberships, and loyalty programs. You can also use an antivirus program to protect your device in case you fall for one of these scams. And most of the time, these antivirus services come packaged with a password manager, which would help a lot in protecting your credentials. Now, with that being said, these are only countermeasures that you can take when you receive a suspicious email. But ultimately, they won't stop the flood of emails in your inbox since your address and other private information are being shared around between data brokers and scammers. So your only option to prevent such scams is to remove all your private information from data brokers and search sites by sending out opt out requests. The only issue here is that there are a lot of data brokers out there and most if not all would simply re upload your data after they removed it. This would make the process very time consuming and you might get overwhelmed by it as any normal person would. But there are services that specialize in data removal, where they use their database of brokers to send opt-out requests and keep your private information off the grid. And I've looked around and tested some of the most popular data removal services and 
found Incogni to be the best overall. Now, there are a lot of factors that make Incogni the go-to data removal company. For example, they have a huge database that covers a wide range of sources. Every month, they scan more than 180 data broker websites, including people search platforms, to find and handle any sensitive information about you. Second of all, Incogni offers an annual plan that's much more affordable compared to other services, and in some cases, it costs nearly half the price of other companies like Delateam. Also, the annual plan comes with a permanent 50% discount, and you can further reduce the price with coupons and discount codes. And on the topic of discounts, you can find the latest discount codes in the description down below to help save you a bit of extra money. Now, as I mentioned earlier, some data brokers may re-upload your information even after it has been removed. Incogni, however, sends opt-out and data removal requests multiple times throughout the year, which keeps data brokers in check and stops them from re-uploading your data. And finally, the best part about Incogni is how simple the process is and how well they keep you informed about their activities. They provide weekly reports that detail the information they found and successfully removed, as well as any pending data removal requests they're currently working on. Also, they offer an interactive dashboard that you can access at any time, which displays the number of requests sent, completed, and pending. It also includes a helpful tip section that functions sort of like an FAQ tab for additional assistance. So overall, the best way to stop phishing scams is to remove your data from the hands of data brokers. And the most efficient way to do that is to hire a reputable data removal service like Incogni. And in case you do get phishing emails, don't get tricked by the sense of urgency and look carefully for phishing signs that I gave you earlier. So that's gonna be it for this video. Again, if you're interested in Incogni, you'll find all the useful links, including discounts in the description down below to help save you a bit of extra money. And feel free to comment below if you guys have any questions. I love getting to interact with you. And of course, like and subscribe if you found this video to be helpful or if you'd like to stay up to date with our future videos. Guys, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.